Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video that's actually taken me quite a while to film, I feel, longer than I wanted it to take. Um, this is going to be the deconstruction and recreation of this sticker book that came... Let me just put that over there. That came in the um, March? yes the March planner society kit and it basically looks like a little tiny TN I'm pretty sure it's actually a pocket like the same size as a, a pocket size and it's got these um, like plasticky kind of sleeves that are meant to fit the stickers that come with the planner society kits um, now I use my stickers as like a decoration in my actual um, planner setup that I do with the Planner Society kits. So I don't really see myself using this for that particular um, use. So um, I did create this tiny little thing which I actually think is a little bit smaller than a micro uh, TN. And it was, well, it's upside down. It was basically the same thing. I got this from Michael's. It's got these little plastic uh, sleeves that have sticker sheets in them. And that's all it was. And then I deconstructed it and remade it so that it functioned. So it was basically a functioning TN. And I had asked if you guys wanted to see how I made that. And a lot of people said you did. But I never had a chance to go back and... Um, pick up another one of those things from Michaels and then I got this. So I figured um, this is literally the exact same thing. It's built the exact same way. Uh, so I'm just going to do the, I'm just going to, yeah, that's what I'm going to do with this. So uh, the first thing that I did was I took out these little, um, what would you call these like, I want to say grommets, but I really don't think that's I really don't think that's correct. Um, but these little metal things that are holding this insert essentially into the cover, and there's no way to take it out without damaging this unless you take these little metal parts out first. And what I used was actually just use some um, uh, jewelry pliers, and that's what I'm going to be using this time. It actually took me. It was really hard to get these things off of the other one, uh, so I'm actually going to go ahead and do this, and I'm going to speed it up because there is no way you guys want to watch me do this in real time because it's just going to be annoying and painful to watch in real time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, bear with me for, I don't know, however long this takes, 10 to 30 seconds. <laughs> All right, give me one second.
Okay, so, ow, my hands hurt now, and I've only gotten one off. Uh, this is what it is currently looking like, very janky. Pretty much my technique <laughs> is to switch off between the two different pliers. These ones um, are quite a bit thinner at the tip, uh, so it's easier to get like underneath and start it. These ones are thicker, and they can grab on more sturdily. Um, I don't know if you can see how this is made. Basically, they're connected by a, um, one is basically a pin and the other one is a hole and they just connect, basically they just smash them together. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much what happens. Um, on this one that I did, they came apart so much more easily. I don't know why. The two pieces actually popped apart when I did it. Um, this one, I kind of just squeezed the one that was on the inside till it looked like a taco. And then it ended up popping out from the outside, which did not um, damage the hole at all. Um, there's a little bit of wear on the hole, but that is from... Uh, mostly from the just the metal rubbing on it but um, it doesn't really it's not that bad and I'm probably gonna poke another hole here which is how I'm going to put my straps in and I'm gonna go ahead and take the other one off now Okay, well that one was super easy. I don't know why that one was so easy. And it, like, see that's what was supposed to happen. But, I don't know, the first one was just very stubborn. Wow, I don't even think I'm gonna have, to, ooh, words. I don't even think I'm gonna have to speed that part up. Ooh, that came out like real clean too. So yeah, there's like no, wear from the metal right there as you can see on that one for me like spinning the metal around and stuff that's awesome and then I'm just gonna keep this on here just like it is um it, it is a little tight like it's it's pr it's pretty tight um as you can see like it didn't even have anything in it other than the insert and it's already left a dent on the cover and in the side so I might eventually end up restrapping that but for now I'm just gonna leave it um, and I'm going to go ahead and take, I'm going to take my, I think it's a big bite, what is what it's called, it's a crocodile, and I'm going to do the 1 8 inch hole, which is, uh, I'm pretty sure what size this is, and I'm just going to be making another hole about a quarter inch above this, like, uh, right above it in the same line, 
try and get it as straight as possible. Actually, I'm going to make it, I'm actually going to make the hole um, a quarter inch from the top of this so that my insert can go in smoothly. There we go. So, a, uh, it could be a little straighter, but it's not a big deal. About a quarter inch from the top, and then I'm going to do the same thing. A quarter inch from the edge. Approximately, I'm not measuring, even though I probably should. I wish there was a way to, like, line this up better, like, see it from the top or something. But... So there are my two new holes, and I'm just going to go into my little tin right here that has all of my elastics, and I'm just going to use a white one. So I'm just going to use this one right here, which is like all tangled. And this is a thinner elastic, but I don't really care as long as it works. So. Um, what am I, what, what am I doing? Okay, so I'm going to put, sorry, oh my god, my brain. I'm going to put this through the original hole from the inside. And I'm going to put it, I'm going to feed it back through the new hole from the outside. And then I'm going to go ahead and just kind of like approximate this, like how long. No, I did that the opposite way I wanted. I want to go in from the outside. No. No, I don't. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. My brain had it together and then it didn't. Okay. I'm going to go, <laughs> go through the original hole from the inside, then go through the new hole from the outside. And I'm going to take this string, so I, I like giving myself an extra few inches just in case. I mean, not that I need it. So I'm going to make it just a, an inch or two longer than the TN. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this and cut it. Where's my skizzes? I'm just going to cut it like that. And then I'm going to take the new end that I created. Put that through the old hole from the inside and then through the new hole from the outside. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that so that um, this one is flush up against the edge but not um, being like pulled. So it's, it's still not, the elastic isn't being pulled but it's still flush up against the edge. Then we're going to go ahead and take these and I'm going to start a um, knot and at the first twist I'm going to pull them so that it's the same way. They're flush up against the edge of the TN but not pulling on the elastic and then I'm going to finish my knot. And then I'm just going to pull that as tight as I can. And I'm going to slip this in here and make sure that works. Let's see which. Okay, put it this way. Before I cut the excess off so that. Let's see, is that too tight for that? This um, plastic is quite a bit more flexible than the plastic that was in the Recollections one. Um, so it is being bunched up a little bit by the elastic. Um, and I could loosen the elastic a little bit, but honestly, because of where the holes are, it's going to bunch it up no matter what. So that's not really going to bother me, though. Um, 
and then because it just if it bothers you you could have I could have put the holes closer to the edge but I feel like this way it's a little safer this is pretty thick but still I didn't want to take any chances of there being any tearing or ripping and then yeah, on the outside you have this you could put a charm on this or a bead or whatever you want I'm gonna go ahead and cut the excess and then now I have my center in there um, I wouldn't really recommend using this one you could make it loose enough like since you're putting your own strap in you could make it loose enough so that you could utilize this one but this um, is really only going to accommodate like one to three inserts and it's gonna end up poking out on the edge just because of the nature of the little booklet like this it's poking out on the edge a little bit but it doesn't really bother me um just because it's not meant to be used as a tn so there's not the extra like buffer space around it which is not a big deal to me but i'm gonna go ahead and take some more of that white elastic Ooh, there goes my undo and i'm going to make a jump band since um the size only really allows you to put one strand in here um, there's not really enough room to accommodate for a spine unless you're using um, inserts that are smaller than um, a pocket size uh, using a jump band is going to be good so I'm just gonna take a piece of elastic that is just a few inches longer like doubled over a few inches longer than the TN and then to make sure it's a good length I'm going to go ahead and take one of my inserts and I'm going to put this straight in the center and then I'm going to take my second one and put the other side right in the center and I don't want it to be too tight actually I don't want the elastic to be pulling at all when I do this because once I put it in here it will pull on the elastic a little bit and I still want there to be enough leeway for it to um, accommodate putting like stickers and stuff in here so I'm gonna go ahead and tie the knot while it's on here without pulling at the elastic too much and then I'm going to take this off and finalize the knot so tighten it and I started that to make sure that the knot doesn't move around too much start tightening it by pulling all four strands and then you can pull on the ones that are on the actual loop that's what I do at least I'm sure there's a plenty of other ways to do it and then I'm going to cut it I like leaving about a quarter inch on each side some people cut it like real close up but I prefer not to do that just me then I have these two personal inserts these are both recollections inserts um, one of them is just blank and then the other one is like a monthly and weekly calendar which is really cool I really like the um, the monthly calendar it's super tiny but it's really cute and it's undated so that's great so I'm gonna take those I felt like these two um, the colors went with the kit the best so I'm gonna go ahead and take my jump band and I'm gonna put it across one of my books like that and then I'm going to put it right here next to this little middle insert I'm gonna flip the middle insert over and then grab the jump band so that I can take my other insert and put it right into the center right there Ooh, and that kind of the inserts actually don't poke out it's the sticker sheets that poke out hmm I'm gonna have to figure out if that bothers me or not because they do stick out quite a bit let me see this is kind of tight so that really pinches on it a lot like a lot a lot hmm 
I wonder what I'm going to do. Because I actually want to be able to put things in there. So I'm not sure what I should do about that. It's not as big of a deal on this because the plastic is so much like sturdier. Um, so even though it has dented it a little bit, it's not like completely folding over. Which I just don't know what to do about that. Because when you hold it open, like that's that's good that that works. But I would like to actually be able to close it. Um, so that'll be interesting. What I might end up doing is taking this strap off, or maybe I just won't let it bother me. I don't know, but I might end up taking this strap off and then using a um, vertical strap instead across here. Um, that might be what I end up doing, or I might remove this and put a different insert in. But either way, this is now a functioning TN, and I am actually going to uh, go ahead and set it up for you guys. And I'm going to use my leftovers from the um, Planner Society kit from February. I'll just stick it over here. And I did actually end up going out and getting some of the Mambi um, little pen loop things, the adhesive pen loops for my TN. I put the black one on this one and I saved the pink one for this. So I actually I'm going to go ahead and put that on right now. And I think I'm going to... Let me see, let me put a pen in here just to see how much spacing I'm going to need. So this is about the size of the pens I usually use. Well, I mean, this is the pen that I usually use, so. Okay, let me just line this up right here. There we go. That works. Cool. And now let's get the paper that I have left. So I have these two sheets left and I really only need two because I mean I'm not really gonna tr I could treat it as like a an insert but I don't know. And then I have one of the mini pockets left which I actually think is going to fit in here quite nicely so I'm going to take this last adhesive pocket that I have and stick it right here on the inside kind of close to the edge like an eighth of an inch border on the top and bottom and put these over here let me get rid of this because this is like all sorts of in the way and I have some of this acetate left and I thought I had some of the other acetate left but maybe not I guess I don't um, oh and I have some die cuts left let me get those and then I have um, packaging backings that I can use and I have some tabs uh, I don't think there's anything actually in I have this bag but there's nothing in it but I could use it as decoration and then I have like scraps of vellum left but I don't really think I'll be using that for anything so, let's see, this acetate would be a little bit small, but I think that that's okay if it's a little bit short. It's not a super big deal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut down my papers to the sizes that I need, and then I will be right back. 
Okay, so I went ahead and put my little um, dashboards on and I used the Flamingo Acetate on the front. It is a little short, but it's okay. It's acetate. Um, then I used the Swan Paper over this one and it has this pattern on the back. I think I'm going to end up taking this one out because it is really bothering me. Um, so actually, let me see if there's something else. Else that I can use. Okay, so I have, I just grabbed all of my other recollections things that I had, and I have this pocket that I'm going to end up putting here. Um, I have a shaker too, but I really don't think that that goes. So I'm going to take this out because this thing is bothering me beyond belief. And I'm going to go ahead and put this pocket in here. Oh my god, that is so much better. And they actually all fit within the, the um, little thing. So that is perfect. Okay, so I have... Oh, that's trash. I have these little packaging things. I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, where's my cutter? I'm going to cut off the branding strip. All of these. Let me zoom you out a little bit. I'm going to cut off the branding strip because I don't need it. If I'm just using these for decoration. And whoop, I'll go ahead and find some places I can use those as little backgrounds. So let's see, in this pocket right here, I wonder if this one will, mm, I could cut it down and then it would fit, but let me see, will this one fit without cutting it down? Yes. Then I kind of want to cut this down so it can be behind that. I only have to cut it down like a quarter of an inch, so I'll do that. This will fit right in there behind this. Perfect. So good layering going on there. Okay, now I have some die cuts left over. Yeah, I wonder if I can stick any of these in there, make it look cute. And then I'll put the tabs on in a minute. So let's see. I have one of these swans left. I've got this camera and this. I have this typewriter. But I don't think that any of this is gonna like show through the. Uh, kind of does, but maybe this larger one will not look so bad. I don't. I might just leave it like this. I'm, because I feel like everything, oh wait, that could work. The bouquet poking out like that. So I feel like everything else gets lost underneath the pattern of the pocket. So I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I like that. So let's go ahead and put some tabs on. Uh, I don't think that I'm gonna put Hmm. I'm not sure what I'm going to use this for yet, so I'm not going to put the labels on it yet, but I'm going to go ahead and grab some tabs. And I don't... I'm not going to put a tab on the pocket. No. I feel like that'd be kind of weird. Um, kind of. I like the ones with the larger patterns. I don't know why. So I'm gonna use these two. So many tabs. And I'm just gonna use a um, double-sided adhesive roller. 
and go here. And where did I put them? I put them on the actual insert there, but I think I'm gonna put them on the for this one at least. I'm gonna put them on the um, little dashboard. And I'm going to put it so that it's just barely poking up. I don't want it to poke up too much. So when I close it, I want to just barely be able to see the tab. So. There we go. That is so cute. Okay, get rid of my scraps here. And I have, let's see, what else do I have in here? I have these. And then I have this extra piece of acetate. I'm not going to laminate the covers. I don't really want to take the time to laminate things in here because it's not something that I'm going to be grabbing every single day. So, let me see. Maybe I'll make a couple different bookmarks for this because I've got a bunch of paper here that would be... Actually, it's literally the perfect size. That is insane. I might end up um, laminating these, but not um, for this video. Actually, I probably will end up laminating them, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to put them on the paper, and I don't care that the swans are going to be sideways. It's just going to be a bookmark. And then, let's see, how long does it need to be just for the word to pop out? I think it's five and a half inches. We'll see. Yep, five and a half inches. Perfect. Okay, I've got this one. I used the Today one on this. I think for that one I used both gold ones. So I kind of want to use patterned ones for this. Um, there's, I could do notes or lists. Ooh, the lists one is cute. Hmm. Notes, lists, or hello. This one's going to go in the back. I kind of want to do the purple. I think I'll just do the hello because it's a blank one. I don't know what I'm going to put in it yet. So I'll just pop out these little things and go ahead and cut this down to five and a half inches while I have this here. glue this on for now. Mm. Alright, so there are my, ooh, what did I just drop? A die cut? Oh no! Okay, so there are my two bookmarks. I wonder if I can make a note like it'll be a little short, but would that be cute though? What's the size of these ones? Three inches maybe? Oh yeah, three, 
three inches exactly actually. Uh, I'll go ahead and cut this down to three inches. Actually, I'm going to do it like this, I think. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing at all, but... Eh, sorry. Let me see which one gives the better look. Cut a sliver down from this. I'm trying to get as much of the flamingos in as I can. Okay. And then... This one... Maybe weak? Mm, or notes. I kind of like the idea of having another color there because I already have a black and white one. Or a black and gray one, I guess. I'm trying to see if there's a way I can move the. It'll be. It'll still gonna be short no matter what. So. I'm going to go ahead and, it kind of sucks because it's acetate, so you'll be able to see the color on the back of it, or I mean the glue. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, you can see it, but I don't think it's a big deal. Alright, so there are my three little bookmarks which are so cute so today hello and week and I will just pop those in the center there for now and let's see actually no I'm gonna pop them out because I'm gonna put some die cuts in I'm definitely gonna go end up um, words. um I'm definitely going to end up laminating those oh my goodness I'm going to take this one and I'm going to cut down the branding strip. Try and use these as. I already used all the journaling cards, so can't use that. But, um, and the, the inserts have patterned covers, so I'm going to try and do something on the inside cover, which is blank. So, let's see what I can do. gonna look cute. Maybe with this and with the swan on top. Okay. like that better. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. But then I'm going to use some of the washi. To make it look like the washi is holding it down. So. Where is the edge of the washi? Here we go. Maybe I should have centered that. Center it on the page instead of putting it right up against the thing. Okay. Mm. I'm going to put them diagonally and then I'll just cut this one off real quick. Okay. I'll put another one on this corner. Probably a smaller piece. And then I'll put the swan. Where do I want to put the... I'm going to put the swan because it's white. So it stands out a little bit better. 
against the super busy floral background. That's cute. Okay, now do the inside cover. Cut this down a little bit. And where's the, where did the, oh, there's the dress. Maybe I'll do that. And then the, maybe the umbrella will work this time. Okay, maybe I'll do that. Let's glue this thing down. I'm not going to use any of the washi this time. dress. I'm not going to push down the top quite yet because I do want to layer this a little bit. Here we go. That's cute. No. 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 Um, I feel like that would be cute just sitting right there. side of this one and I thought I had another maybe not I do have these scrap pieces of paper I have some more but they're like real like they're strips I don't want to use this flower. Like, I was really upset that I had to cut this flower off because it's so beautiful. And just put the typewriter on top of that. Let's see. Take this down and use some of the washi. I'm going to use the washi horizontally this time. put this up here or this nah. I think I'm gonna put the typewriter just sitting on top of it just like this and now the back mm, I think Back here, I'm going to make like a floral cluster. I think this is supposed to hang like this. Maybe I'll do these two together. I kind of like that. I think this is supposed to be like... I'm pretty sure like in the stickers or something. It's hanging upside down like this. So I remember when I first saw it, I was like I could not figure it out. I just couldn't figure it out so and then I saw something and I was like oh that's how it's supposed to go I'm pretty sure that's correct so oops if it's not and I'm just gonna leave that alone cuz I don't like that and then I think I'm just gonna do like a floral crazy floral cluster down here I don't like that. Maybe I'll just do like one down there. Or maybe I'll just do the umbrella. Just chillin' like that because I don't really like any of the other options, so I think 
the front of this isn't the front of this has words where are you going has words on it so I don't really want to cover that or put anything on that but this the cover of this one doesn't have any words so I'll just put this flower chillaxin on the bottom here And then maybe I'll put this. Oh, maybe the purple one. Let's see. Maybe I like the blue one better. I'll put that in that little cluster. Let's see if this can go anywhere. save these little floral bits or something else. Maybe I can put the purple one on this. That's kind of cute. I'm going to put that there. Maybe one will look cute up here. Yes. Or maybe the, probably the pink one. Because the tab is blue. Maybe I can put this Here. I kind of just want to use them up. I don't want them to be wasted. Okay. That, I think, is going to be it. And then my three bookmarks. And then once I figure out exactly what I'm going to be using this for, I will go ahead and put the labels on the tabs. And let's see. I still have so much of these. I don't even know what to do with all these. I'm just going to end up making a whole bunch of bookmarks for something. I don't know. But they're very cute. And I have that left, and I've got the washi left, and I've got uh, still a bunch of tabs left. Oh, and I still have the scrap left, another one of those. So much stuff left. I'm like basically out of paper. I'm down to scraps and strips, but honestly, it comes with a lot. So that is the final product. We'll go ahead and take a quick flip through real quick. I'm really surprised that that actually accommodates for three, well, I'd say two and a half because this isn't really the full thickness of a insert but I feel like if there was another real insert in here and actually actually you know what no because when you double that up look it's just as thick as the insert anyway um so when you open it up there is one of the adhesive pattern pockets zoom in just a little bit and two of the um like packaging backings I have this little scrap of flamingo acetate that this is all the stuff that I used for um, my B6 TN. So I had some of that left over so I used that. We've got the flamingo paper as my first dashboard. These are non-laminated because um, like I said this is just not something that I'm going to be going to every single day. Uh, and I put a little flower die cut there. I don't actually know what kind of flowers these are. Peonies maybe. I don't know what they're supposed to be. Um, and one of the tabs, this is the blue floral, which is so pretty. The back is the tab again, another floral die cut, and one of the, what was that? One of the black and gray florals. My first insert, this is a recollections insert. Um, one of the ones that comes in like a pack of three that you can get at Michael's. Oh, I need to cut this down more because this is, there we go. And then I took another piece of product packaging, um, like the packaging like backing, and put it right here with a couple strips of the washi and a swan die cut. That's on the inside of the actual insert. 
then on the inside of the back cover of the insert there's another piece of packaging uh, and two more die cuts and then I since this was just like a pattern there was no words I took another die cut and just centered it the actually largest die cut I had left and then here is another floral die cut on the back of this dashboard and there's the acetate again and then in the center I actually ended up taking this thing out and this is kind of a recap in case you skipped to the center portion of the video I took this thing out because it was really annoying and it's like floppy and kind of like cheap like really cheap feeling I'm not going to end up using that for anything else, so I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, <clears throat> I can't imagine that anybody else would want it, but maybe I'll put it in my D stash pile. Um, here is a like quadruple pocket um, that I use to replace that thing with. So it's got two little pockets right here and then two these two pockets up here. And then I kind of just left this by itself. It doesn't have any dashboards or any decoration or anything, although I could have, but I didn't have enough die cuts or anything, so that's fine. Here is my second dashboard with the like purpley floral and one of the gray and white patterned tabs, which is actually the same pattern on the back, which I did not plan out, but it's not really a big deal to me. And then here is my second insert, which actually has like a pink cacti pattern on it which is not too out of place I mean it's still botanical and pink uh, and there's a, another floral die cut right here I really just wanted to use like really wanted to use this uh, scrap piece of paper it's not a product backing this is uh, part of the pattern paper and I really was sad that I had to cut this flower off so I just wanted to feature it right here with some of the washi and then another die cut and then on the back inside cover of the insert there's just a little collage of three of the die cuts and then back here I put the little umbrella and there is the back of that little dashboard thing and then uh, a Mambi pen loop that I put back here in case I want to use a pen with it and then lastly I have the three bookmarks that I made uh, two out of um, the last of some scrap pieces of paper of the dashboards that I used in here and then one with the last little bit of flamingo acetate which this one is shorter than the others but it's honestly not a big deal and then I will end up laminating these because these letters are like they're um, they're on like a glossy cardstock I wouldn't call them laminated because only ones I mean I guess they are laminated but very like thinly laminated and not super protected because they're still uh, kiss cut cut out so I'll end up <clears throat> laminating these anyway I'm I'm super happy with how this turned out I really wanted to be able to put that um, sticker thing in here to be able to utilize it but I'm actually really happy with how it looks without it so yeah you basically you basically received a TN with this um, kit so I'm super happy about that and the little things um, the second one was actually super easy to pop out I don't know why it was so easy but it just like came apart like within a few seconds of me trying this one was really hard but again if you've got some pliers around you can do it so that is it that is the DIY travelers notebook from the planner society kit and um, I'm in love with it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that um, if you like this idea and you had no idea what to do with the um, sticker book before that you know this gave you a little bit of inspiration and maybe uh, if you were afraid to um, kind of take things apart and create them into something else that maybe this takes away a little bit of that fear you just gotta jump in with both feet and do it sometimes so I hope that this video helped out somebody um, if you guys enjoyed it go ahead and give it a thumbs up I would really appreciate it also go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and you'd like to see more plannery videos um, and I hope to see you in my next one bye